Good morning students as we have seen that English literature has passed from many ages we have talked about kings we have talked about queens political situations most important events we have talked about wars and then we have uh, poets like Shakespeare William Wordsworth John Donne they all have some ability they all were talking about some themes for instance William Wordsworth uh, was much more focused on the life of a common man and then we have John Donne who was the master of conceits so every poet was talking about some theme every talk every poet was talking about some topics the same way we have war poets all right it is not like that the poet has not talked about the war before these war poets of world war first we have many ancient and greek uh, writers or poets who have talked about uh, the wars in their works such as we have iliad and odyssey by homer but the thing is that this is the first time when some writers some poets were much more realistic rather than glorifying the words and they came out and they became anti-romantic romantic war poets is something who glorifies the war who glorifies the sense of patriotism but anti-romantic poets were someone who talked about brutality meaningless wars stupid and barbarous wars it is so because as you see that over 9 million people died in the world war first and it shows that how the sense of nationalism the patriotism the sense of patriotism is just meaningless and the same shocking images are represented by the war poets in their poems so we have three major poets associated with this particular group beginning with Rupert Brooke Siegfried Sassoon and Wilfred Owen the last one Wilfred Owen was sort of romantic poet he was a fan of John Keats Phoebe Shelley he too used to feel good about the sense of patriotism but what happened was Sigmund Sassoon and Wilfred Owen both were in hospital admitted due to injuries from the war and Sassoon encouraged Owen to become realistic rather than glorifying rather than living in these fantasies of patriotism to see what his eyes are seeing to write all about happenings in the war rather than listening to the fantasies and thus Wilfred Owen too became anti-romantic war poet you can say and another important thing to remember here is that these poets were also known as trench poets trench means a pit from where the soldiers take cover and attack the enemies those poets who wrote and fought in trenches were called the trench poets actually you must be confused that why these poets were going into the war it is just because that uh, a lot of war was happening and there were limited stock of soldiers so every common man has to go into the war and fight for their country it is not only the poets who were involved in the war but it is also people from other professions like teachers doctors and all so the common man too fought the war the world war first and among those common men there were the poets there were the teachers and these poets went on to write about the poetry what they are looking through their eyes among these three poets Rupert Brooke was a romantic poet he glorified the war but remaining these two Sigmund Sassoon and Wilfred Owen they both were anti-romantic poets Brooke's two important works are the old vicarage Grantchester and the soldier the famous line from the soldier is if I should die think only this of me that there is a some corner of foreign field that is forever England Siegfried Sassoon who was anti-romantic he has written three important works suicide trenches song books of the war counter-attack as an anti-romantic poet he has talked about how these wars are meaningless how these wars are brutal the last one Wilfred Oman who too has written three works exposure the sense of dulce at decorum est not every time they ask these war poets in UGC net examination uh, you can simply go through a simple reading or whatever the points that I have told in this video is sufficient for you to prepare for your upcoming UGC net examination so this is what all I have to share in this video I hope you found the video worth your time if you're new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates on English literature that's it for this video thank you